It's funny, actually. I, I sometimes because there's a bit of um, um, language in that um, in that uh, piece, and I I, I got a um, letter recently from a woman when I when I was performing in Perth, saying that she didn't see why I had to um, use such um, uh, crass language, and I wrote back, sort of explaining that language changes. You know, that our whole vernacular is different, and the moral standards change and, and, and that these words are in common usage now and I cited this, um, it's a true story, I saw on the front page of the Australian newspaper um, the word fuck, like on the front page of the paper, I mean things have changed and all I had to do to get away with it was spell it F asterisk asterisk K. <laughs> it's really weird that a little star could be enough to soothe our fickle outrage, you know, it's, it's, it, and, any, and anyway, because the F asterisk asterisk K is so commonly used these days, it actually these days means fuck. <laughs> More than fuck means fuck. <laughs> it's almost a counterproductive disguise. <laughs> it's like a, um, like a pedophile wearing brown tinted aviator glasses when he goes to the pool. If anything, it makes him look more like a pedophile. <laughs> Strangely, and I also pointed this out in my letter, um, the protection afforded the, the word fuck by the humble asterisk does not necessarily apply to all words, e even seemingly innocuous, perfectly harmless words. Like uh, any word, like take, take the word finger, for example, perfectly harmless word, but when used in a sentence such as, um, I want to finger your mum. <laughs> I'm just saying it could be construed by some senses as, as uh, deemed uh, uh, offensive. Now, you'd have to say that the offensive word in that sentence is the word finger, used in this case uh, as a verb or a doing word. <laughs> but you would not get that sentence on the front page of the Australian newspaper by spelling F asterisk asterisk G-E-R. And that's because it's the context in which the word is used that makes it offensive. <laughs> in which case, you might be better off spelling the sentence, I want to finger your M asterisk M. <laughs> I guess the reason I, I, I brought that up, um, I guess what I'm saying is, uh, if anyone has been offended so far by any, anything, if, if you're the sort of person that finds any of that sort of stuff objectionable, um, or for that matter, if you're quite a religious, if you're a religious person, um, might want to pop out for about five minutes. <laughs> uh, this is a song about um, anal sex and God. <laughs> it's uh, it's called Ten Foot Cock and a Few Hundred Virgins. <laughs> So you're gonna live in paradise With a ten-foot cock and a few hundred virgins So you're gonna live in paradise With a ten-foot cock and a few hundred virgins So you're gonna sacrifice your life For a ride on a UFO And when the Lord comes down in his shimmering chariot of salvation you're gonna be the first to know oh. And so if God was there from the very beginning He invented men and women Then he also invented wanking Then he said wanking was sinning So no, if I'm feeling randy I'm not allowed to hand shandy But having sex with my family That is just fucking great It's all there in Ezekiel 8 and just before he opens up his big pearly gate And says that it's a sin to take it up to date Even if it's great, even with your cowboy mate So you're gonna live in paradise With a ten-foot cock and a few hundred virgins So you're gonna sacrifice your life For a shot at the greener grass And when the Lord comes down with his shiny rod of judgment He's gonna kick my heathen ass oh. So if you cover the bodies of your women Everybody is grinning because black is so slim And though it's not great for swimming But it gives you an erection with the increased sexual tension What with the UV protection that is second to none 
You'll find it all in the Koran Just next to the bit that justifies guns And says that it's a sin to take it up the bum Even if it's fun, even with permission from your mum so you're gonna live in paradise With a temple cocking of you under virgins So you're gonna sacrifice your life For a shot at eternity And when the Lord comes down and I Haven't done my penance He's gonna disembowel me Oh You say that If I I'd assume it had a watchmaker That a muffin presupposes a baker So he must agree sooner or later That this proves there's a creator So if I put my foot in a stinker You'd assume the existence of a sphincter Thus you don't need to be a great thinker To conclude that God's a bum Which negates the words of Genesis 1 Which make him out to be so much fun Until Adam succumbed to temptation And then his only son got nailed to a gum or the Middle Eastern equivalent Which suggests that God's omniscience is nullified by his ambivalence Unless it turns out that he's impotent And if God can't get a boner I guess that explains the plethora A few directions in his honour Cos we all know a steeple's just a subconscious compensatory manifestation of a huge stiff penis And still he tells us that it's heinous To stick a penis up your anus Even if you're famous Even if you're good in tennis So you're gonna live in paradise Temple cock gonna be one diversion, so you're gonna sacrifice your life for a ride on a UFO. And when the Lord comes down with his big, stiff, slippery rod of judgment, oh, I'm gonna be the first to go. He's gonna send me down below. He's gonna whip me like a hoe. Do you really think so? I'm gonna be the first to go.